Hello, I'm Brian Wargo, and I'm excited to announce for the Idealized Science Institute our very first full-length course. It'll be Understanding Electricity, and that understanding is a foundational word in science, uh, which is essentially about making models and providing explanations. We've noticed over the years that there's been this misalignment with coverage uh, equaling knowledge, and, and that's just not the case. We'll be replacing that with uh, lessons that hopefully will dive right into developing deep epistemic understanding. And I challenge all of you to take this little test. If you've ever taken an E&M course or you know anyone that's in graduate school or college and they've taken electricity or magnetism course, simply ask them, uh, what is it that you actually learned in that course? And it's uh, usually befuddling because they're thinking to themselves, you know what, I survived this, but it was this mysterious blend of mathematics and doing a lot of problems, but they don't seem to have a fundamental understanding and that's what we're hoping to um, maybe fill in that gap. And we'll be doing that because we realize that many of our, um, our people that are watching are going to be uh, teachers and students themselves who end up using the simplistic materials when possible so you can replicate most of what we're doing. Nothing too high tech. We do need to go high tech with some of our instrumentation, things of that nature. Uh, hopefully you'll have a good understanding of what we're doing there and how it works and the operation, the principles behind it. Along with our, our lessons, we're going to still incorporate our quick quizzes. And uh, what we really want to show is how do you get the timing? When do those quizzes fit in? Along with still encouraging all of our students, teachers, and if you're neither of those, we still encourage you to always be reading books. It is fundamental to understanding the nature of science, how science, technology, um, engineering and mathematics all fit together in the real world. So rather important. We've been crafting these lessons over the last three decades. So we feel pretty confident that we should be able to give you something where you have a much deeper understanding of uh, STEM in general. So we really look forward to you making the journey with us. And as always, one of our goals is to end up doing long-term projects. So as you see these lessons, hopefully uh, these will be the birth of ideas that you could do for a long-term project on your own. All right, enough talking. Let's just jump right in.